So what is hyperinsulinemia? Hyper is a prefix that means high. Insulin is the hormone insulin and emia means in the blood. So the, the, the term itself, hyperinsulinemia, means high insulin levels in the blood. And one of the things that we know is that if you give people high doses of insulin, people gain weight. So that's basically a causal relationship because we know that I can give it to anybody and they will still gain weight. So one of the main problems with obesity is really the high insulin levels that have caused it. I think that it also underlies much of the rest of the metabolic syndrome. So the metabolic syndrome is a constellation of other things that are very closely associated with the uh, weight gain. So for example, you have the high blood pressure, the high cholesterol levels, um, and those uh, go down the line and cause much higher risk of heart disease, strokes, heart attacks, that sort of thing. So in fact, all of this is tied in very closely to the elevated um, uh, body weight, which is caused ultimately by the high insulin levels. So if you're looking at type 2 diabetes, again, we're, what you have to understand is that as you lose weight, the type 2 diabetes usually gets better. And the reason for that is that both of those are diseases caused by too much insulin. Too much insulin leads to insulin resistance because the body typically responds to elevated uh, levels of hormone by developing resistance. So if the body didn't develop the resistance, then it would suffer all the effects of that high insulin. So it's a natural homeostatic response. So high insulin levels leads to insulin resistance. High insulin levels also leads to weight gain and obesity. So you can see that the underlying condition of both type 2 diabetes and obesity, which is often these days called diabetes, to really emphasize the point that these are really two diseases with the same cause. The cause of this diabetes and metabolic syndrome is really elevated insulin levels, hyperinsulinemia. And the reason that it's so important to understand that is that the way you frame the question tells you the answer. That is, if you understand that the problem is too much insulin, then the solution becomes immediately obvious. If it's too much insulin, lower your insulin. And how are you gonna do that? The point is that there's very few drugs that will actually do that for you. It comes back to the diet. So how are you going to lower insulin levels, lower the amount of sugar in your diet, lower the amount of refined carbohydrates, and intermittent fasting, all are effective strategies at lowering the insulin levels. And this gets back to the point that type 2 diabetes is a largely a dietary disease, and therefore, logically, the only decent treatment is dietary.